Guys, it's Earl and Brian here. Today we're going to go over the power routing in most of our harnesses that we offer. Now we're just going to look at this SR20 in particular, but a lot of them are very similar across their entire product line. So what we're doing here is I've got ignition power and ground going into our interface like you've seen on some of the other videos. Now, on this SR20, we'll just take a look at the coil breakout here. So you can see that black with a red stripe is going to be ignition power. Now, all of the components in the harness are powered at the same time. It's a bus power design, so items like your coils, your injectors, your flex fuel sensor in this case, uh, boost control solenoid, they'll all be powered with the ignition circuit. So if one has power, all of them should technically have power. Now, if we look here, we're going to follow that. And the coil harness itself has a separate ground, but the way we have the harness powered, we can't test for power here using this ground because it's not grounded to anything. So we actually have to use the ring terminal on the harness. So we do have 12 volts here. Now, what we can do is I can show you we also have 12 volts on an injector. And we can do, we'll do the flex fuel sensor too. We don't need to do all of them, but now this will give you an idea of, you know, if one of these has power, then all of them are going to have power. Now, if you guys are going to test to see if your coils or your injectors are firing, you can use a Noid light. Now, we'll go back to the same idea. We've got this black with a red stripe. That's going to be our power. Now, a Noid light's an LED. So it always has to be polarity specific. So you need to put the positive side into your power wire and then you put the ground side into the switch circuit that's coming from the ECU. Now while cranking the engine over, this light would flash as long as the coils were firing or the injectors were firing. So another way to test that, uh, to see if you're getting spark and fuel while your rotating is over is if you think you have a bad cam angle sensor maybe grab another one and just plug it in to the harness itself you don't need to install it on the motor but you can spin it by hand and you should be able to see pulses or flashes from the coils and the injectors so that pretty much sums up how the power is routed in the harness it should be pretty easy to diagnose problems now all the power in the entire harness is going to originate from your interface connector. So it's going to be this wire right here. So this wire actually powers the entire harness. Now I'm feeding it with battery power just for an example, but it's always in this upper corner if you're looking at it from the engine harness side. So if you don't believe you're getting power and you've tested for power at your injectors and coils, next step is going to be to test it here. The vehicle may not be producing power and putting it into our harness. So hopefully that will help you guys diagnose any problems you have. 